Armenia, Azerbaijan and Russia sign Nagorno-Karabakh peace deal Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan called the deal incredibly painful both for me and both for our people. It follows six weeks of fighting between Azerbaijan and ethnic Armenians. The region is internationally recognized as Azerbaijani but has been run by ethnic Armenians since 1994. A Russian broker truce was signed at the end of the war in the early 1990s but there was no peace deal. Although both sides took steps to reduce tensions last year, fighting erupted at the end of September and several attempts to end the conflict failed. The new ceasefire agreement prompted anger in Armenia, as protesters stormed the parliament, beating up the speaker and reportedly looting the prime minister's office. Armenia, Azerbaijan and Russia signed an agreement on Tuesday to end six weeks of fierce fighting in Nagorno-Karabakh in a deal Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan described as unspeakably painful in an emotional Facebook post. The post was the first indication of a deal, with Pashinyan saying the agreement would take effect from 1 a.m. on Tuesday, 2100 Greenwich Mean Time on Monday, to end a conflict that has left at least 1,000 people dead. The deal was later confirmed by Azerbaijan and the Kremlin. The signed trilateral statement will become a crucial point in the settlement of the conflict, Azerbaijan's President Ilham Aliyev said in a televised online meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The agreement came hours after ethnic Armenian officials in the disputed region confirmed that the key city of Shusha, known as Shushi in Armenia, the second biggest city in the enclave, had been taken by Azeri forces. Azerbaijan also said on Monday it had taken dozens more settlements. Russia's defense ministry confirmed that 1,960 personnel would be involved in reports said planes had left an airbase at Ulyanovsk on Tuesday carrying peacekeepers and armored personnel carriers to Karabakh. Part of their role will be to guard the Lakan Corridor, which links the Karabakh capital, Stepanakert, to Armenia. Turkey will also take part in the peacekeeping process, according to Azerbaijan's president, who joined President Putin during the address. President Putin said the agreement would include an exchange of war prisoners, with all economical and transport contacts to be unblocked. Thanks for watching the video. Please don't forget to support me by subscribing this channel and click on bell for daily interesting updates. If you like this video, please like it and share this video.